Well, 2020 has been a very different year. Most of us at one time or another have been in lockdown, but the guys down here in Victoria, more than others. So what did I get up to in lockdown? I went and checked out the shed and realized I still got this 1989 CR250. Thought, let's pull it out, give it a good clean, actually take it for a run and see what it goes like. So let me tell you about the first things that I did for this bike once I pulled it out of the shed. First of all, I gave it a really good wash. Tried to clean everything off it, had a lot of cobwebs, had some dust on it as well. So I thought, give it a clean. Once I cleaned it, polished it all up, I realized the actual brakes had seized up. So I had to buy a new brake kit for it. So I replaced the caliper brake kits, put in some new washers with the brake kit, re-bled the brakes, and actually painted the calipers as well. I thought I'd give them a touch up and they work like brand new again. I put some new Pirelli mid soft tires on it. I really love these tires. I put them on every bike and any conditions. They're the tires that I go for all the time. I put a new chain and sprocket kit. Now, Link came out with a RK race kit. So I just chucked one of those on there and I was surprised you could still get one for the 89 CR250. And the grips had been a little bit weathered, so I put a new set of grips on. So the CR's been in storage for about 12 years. When I first had it, Steve from Cisco's rebuilt the engine and Chad did the suspension, so I'm hoping it all should be okay. So let's talk to Chad from Chad's Off-Road and he'll tell you what you're gonna to do to your bike when you bring it out of storage. If bikes are sitting for any amount of time, there's certain things that will happen to the bike that, you know, when you go to get back on it and ride it again, mightn't be functioning quite as well as you would like them to. Basically, starting at the front of the bike, first thing I would do is check tyre pressures. Obviously, over time, tyre pressures are going to go down. Just make sure they're at the correct pressure. Run over the spokes. Just make sure the spokes are all at the correct tension. Just go around and a good check. If you haven't looked at the bike for a while, just to go through, give your wheels a bit of a shake, and just see if there's any movement in the wheel bearings. Getting onto the forks, the first thing I would pretty much do is bleed the air out of the forks, just making sure that there's no build up of air. Just make sure that obviously all your head stem bearings are moving nice and freely and everything like that. Next thing I would be looking at is probably lubing your cables. Over time, the cables will dry out, so it's a good idea just to maybe run a bit of lube through the cables. The other thing I would highly recommend is probably running some fresh brake fluid through your brakes because the brake fluid does absorb moisture out of the air. The other thing while we're talking about brakes is obviously check your brake pad wear. Next thing, getting onto fuel. The unleaded fuel only has a shelf life of around seven days before it starts to deteriorate. So, you know, if the bike's been sitting there with any fuel in the tank, obviously drain the fuel tank, pull the plug out of the bottom of the carb or even take the carb out and give it a good clean. Next thing you can do is do the change the gear oil, just make sure that everything's you know fresh and start the, your riding season again in a good way. If the bike hasn't been used for any amount of time, just check that your suspension linkage is still moving freely, you know, pushing up and down on the bike, making sure that it hasn't, things haven't seized up. If the bike hasn't been used for a period of time, it's probably also a good idea to maybe give the shock a bit of a service as well. I know this sounds like a funny thing, but over time, even just checking that your muffler hasn't become blocked the other thing to probably look at as well is just having a quick look at the air filter just to make sure that not all the oils drop to the bottom of the air filter and that it's got a good coverage of oil throughout the air filter. So it's about just having a very good visual over the whole bike and that, as I said rubber and things like cables and stuff dry out over time so it's just have a really good visual over your bike. <music> 